next research is from online session about knowledge attitude toward COVID-19 vaccine acceptance and related adverse effects among health science and non-health science students from two large public universities in Thailand. From Mr. Silashat Han, you are Tanakun. Hey, good morning. Today I will present a research on knowledge and attitude toward COVID-19, vaccine acceptance and related adverse effects among health science and non-health science students from two large public universities in Thailand. And this is our research team. Massive vaccination against COVID-19 is among the strategy to mitigate the ongoing pandemic. However, hesitation and refusal of available vaccine is considered one of the global public health threats addressed by the WHO. University students are at risk of acquiring COVID-19 and transmitting SARS-CoV-2 to others. However, knowledge gap and negative attitude towards COVID-19 and vaccines among Thai university students have not been described yet. We aim to assess the vaccine acceptance rate, student knowledge and attitude toward COVID-19 and the vaccines, factor influencing the decision to receive the vaccine and vaccine-related side effects. This was a cross-sectional study using an online questionnaire via Google Form. We included the student age 18 years and above, studying in Thammasat or Jolalongkorn University, and those who did not complete the questionnaire are excluded. The students were from all 28 faculties divided into health science, science, and social science as shown. The knowledge was assessed by whether the student correctly respond to the provided statements, while for attitudes were assessed by five-point Lackford scale. The obtained data were analyzed by using SPSS program and the statistic used for analysis were as shown. For the result, there were 1,028 participants in total. 52% were from Thammasat University, 66% were female, 36% from health science, 28% from science, and 36% from social science faculties. Most of them were from the first year. The vaccine acceptance rates among students was 99% divided into those who already received or waited in line for the vaccines, and the vaccine acceptance rates were comparable between the three faculty groups. The most common reason for refusing vaccination were lack of desired vaccine, being not confident in the vaccine, not concerned about and concerned about the side effects, and others are shown in the slides. While for the most common factor influencing the decision to influencing the student to receive the vaccination were their own safety, followed by family safety, the risk of contracting COVID, vaccine efficacy, vaccine safety, brand and type of vaccine. The, vac the vaccine effectiveness significantly affected the decision in health science more than non-health science students. Overall, students have good knowledge about COVID-19 with a median score of 14 out of 16, and health science students score higher than non-health science students. Most of the students from our faculty respond correctly to the statement about practice to prevent COVID-19, and health science students were more likely to correctly respond to the statement about common side effects, efficacy, and population group at risk for developing severe COVID-19. A significant higher proportion of health science students correctly respond to the statement about the cause of COVID-19, population group who need vaccination, the onset of vaccine side effects, and the efficacy of FDA-approved vaccines. Regarding attitudes, the students strongly agree that people should have an opportunity to choose the vaccine they want and should have an equal access to the vaccines, while social science significantly agree that people's confidence in the government had major impact on their decision to get the vaccine. Most of the students from our faculty agree that getting the COVID-19 is a social responsibility for everyone, and health science students significantly agree more than non-health science that wearing a mask and social distancing 
can reduce the risk of getting COVID-19, while non-health science significantly agree more than health science that COVID-19 should be considered as economic problem rather than a public health problem. Now, let's talk about the vaccine side effect amongst the students who completed the two doses of vaccine. For the first dose, muscle pain is the most common, followed by fever and headache. Viral vector vaccine significantly cause more fever and headache than others. For the lower figure, majority of the students reported that this side effect occurred during the first two days after vaccination. For the second dose, muscle pain was also the most commonly reported side effect, followed by cough and fever, and the most of the side effects also occur within the first two days of vaccination resembling the first dose. Most of the vaccine side effects resolve spontaneously without further treatment, and the side effects of the first dose of any vaccine were significantly more that severe than the second dose. Vaccine exception rate in this study was very high, consistent with the previous Thai study, which may be explained by availability of vaccine and their clinical data, the high burden of COVID-19, the provisional free vaccination from the university, and the country regulation that require the proof of vaccination. The student refused the vaccination due to unavailability of the wanted vaccine, safety concern, and lack of adequate information about the vaccine. These findings were consistent with previous study and emphasized the importance of provisional adequate vaccine information and availability of, of the vaccine in the vaccination programs. There were some differences in the knowledge gap among health science, science and social science students based on this finding. Education tailored to each student group would improve their knowledge and COVID-19 vaccine acceptance. Most of the students have positive attitude toward COVID-19 vaccine efficacy, and there the difference in attitude should be considered for implementation of policy tailored to each student group. And in conclusion, the high vaccine acceptance rate correlated with high level of knowledge about COVID-19. And our study can be applied to the future COVID-19 vaccine program for the student. Thank you. So now let me have a question from on-site session, please. Thank you for your presentation. Um, I'd like to uh, ask you about the, uh, how could you develop your questionnaire? Okay, we created the question in this study based on the literature re review and um, review by the two infectious disease specialists from two, um, both university. Yes, and the questionnaire was pre-test on 20 students to evaluate for its internal consistency and calculated for large part alpha was 0 0.77. Thank you. Is that finished? Oh, yeah. Um, thank you for your presentation. Um, how could you use um, your data? Um, what are you going to do with it? Thank you. I think, um, like I mentioned before, the education tailored to each group of students would, like, would improve the vaccine acceptance. So we already provide our result to the Thomas Hart University student uh, uh, like Thammasat University Hospital so that they can provide the proper information to the target population in, in order to increase the vaccination in like our hospital. And I think it will be better if I can would like provide our result to like the public health and we are trying to provide it in, in this stage. So I'm just wondering if, um, given the information you have, is the strategy to improve vaccination in the health science and non-health science students different? Can Any, you, could you repeat the question, please? Anything different concerning the strategy that you will employ to improve the vaccination between the health science and non-health science students? I think the knowledge that the those group 
have a uh, difference. So I think um, the, the provided information that proper to each student can improve the vaccination acceptance. So I think that the, the, like the intervention should be different tailored to each group like for the knowledge and attitude at least. So thank you so much for such a fascinating research. So thank you so much.